Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is March 28, 2018. I'm Quinesia Fraser. Thank you for tuning in to our Texan TV newscast. In Campus News, the Rec Center will be hosting a free rappling and zip lining challenge course. It will be located in the Rec Center and will take place from 2 p.m. until 6 p.m. this evening. For more information, contact Rachel McDonald. In local news, Timber Ridge Mega Hunt returns to Stephenville City Park from 10 a.m. to noon this Saturday. The event will include 50,000 Easter eggs along with bounce houses and games. Plus, kids can get a picture with the one and only Easter Bunny. For more information about the Mega Hunt, you can call Timber Ridge Church at 254-434-2507. And now for today's state, national, and international news from the Associated Press. In Texas news, the pastor of the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs announced their plans for a new sanctuary complex. Just southeast of San Antonio, this South Texas church is where gunman Devin Kelly entered a Sunday service and opened fire, killing 26 people. The plan to build a new sanctuary complex is what the pastor hopes can be a new start for his congregation. The $3 million project is planned for just north of the present sanctuary, which has been turned into a memorial for those killed in last November's massacre. In national news, three Facebook Messenger app users have filed a lawsuit claiming that Facebook has violated their privacy. Facebook acknowledged on Sunday that it began uploading call and text logs from phones running Google's Android system in 2015. The suit was filed Tuesday in federal court in Northern California. And in international news, Russia is mourning after 64 people died in a Siberian mall fire. Today has been declared a day of mourning and flags are flying half-staff across the country. Investigators say a short circuit is a possible cause for the fire and that emergency exits were locked shut, preventing people from evacuating. In sports news, Tarleton's cheer and dance teams performed routines for the NCAA Collegiate Nationals in Daytona, Florida. Katie McQuillan has more. Hello Texans, I am Katie McQuillan bringing you the latest sports news. Tuesday night, Tarleton's cheer and dance teams showcased their routines in front of the student body. These routines were in preparation for their Nationals trip next Wednesday in Daytona, Florida. Head coach Blaine Hamilton said there is still work to be done, so they are thankful for a few more days of practice. For those interested in tuning in to their competition, it will be aired on CBS Sports. Thanks for tuning in. This is Katie McQuillan, Texan TV. And now we bring you to Caitlin Rivera with the weather. The National Weather Service reports that today we're going to have a high of 63 and a low of 46. We have no chance of rain, but it is foggy and very cloudy. Thanks, Caitlin. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 1230 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in to Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by the Texan TV staff. Staff.